What's up, homies? Uh Alright y'all, so get into them. Your girl got a sponsor. Today we have the Real TTK, a clothing brand based outside of Atlanta, Georgia. They make both clothing for women and men and they are expanding their business into accessories now. So make sure you give their Instagram some love, but make sure you also check out their website and make sure you look at all their merch. They got some really cute stuff. I am into these masks, y'all. I've always loved masks, but now with this COVID-19, y'all, they got these real cute masks that are not only safe, y'all, but they're super stylish so make sure you check them out this is the real ttk what am i gonna call my subscribers you know how people got names for their subscribers i like babes but i feel like somebody else do that hey y'all so i'm gonna be doing my questions tag today i'm so excited it's been a long time coming y'all gave me some really good questions on instagram but i felt like they weren't like a wide range of questions so it like doesn't really give you the complete gist of who i am so i have a couple from a, another couple tags that i've seen so i want to start by introducing myself i'm lena my real name is carlina um carlina milan milan is my middle name and um one thing people always ask oh my god your name is so pretty fun fact it's actually my parents celebrity name so my dad's name is carlton and my mom's name is danina so they need me their celebrity name but yeah and then milan is my middle name milan actually was almost my first name but then they thought of something different I am 22 years old. That's kind of stuff that like people obviously wasn't gonna ask me that because like they know who I am. Who is my best friend? If you're my friend, you're more than just my friend. You're like my family. And then if you're like we're cool, you're like an associate. So I wouldn't even say that I had a best friend. If I had to say I had a best friend, it would be my mom. My mom is actually my best friend. What is my favorite music genre? Oh my goodness, music genre. Let me tell y'all something my musical taste is so large i talked to one of my friends yesterday and he would I, I told him to send me a playlist i just wanted like a new fresh playlist of music that wasn't my own and he was like well i'm not about to send it to you because it's a whole bunch i'm like you don't have like multiple mini playlists and he's like no i was like am i the only person that does that and he was like yes but i definitely think i'm not the only person that does this y'all know like 20 playlists in my phone and they i can show you on my ipad i got so many playlists on here that i've made just of like random music that i like so i mean my my judith christy McAllister bomb gospel artist all the way to trippy red like i like everybody i don't really care I don't care what it is. If it get me moving, honey, I'm, I'm down for it. Probably my top music genre. I can't even answer that question because that's what the person asked. I can't even answer that question. I don't have a top favorite. It really just depends on on what on what I what I'm listening to at the moment, what I'm going through, or whatever. I love all types of music. Like, oh, like I just do. I love all, music. Is just everything to me. I like to make music. Um, I don't know. I like to sing. I sing as much but i do like to sing um and like i said any type of music like i'm 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 down all right what is my go-to hairstyle i was gonna find out real quick your girl loves a good wig whether it's from beauty for you or i ordered it online my friend got me into aliexpress i love a good wig she actually slicked down today i could see on the side she's starting to not want to cooperate my hair a certain way like this going to preschool every day daycare every day working because that's another fact i'm a daycare teacher this would not last like at all so um i try to do things i know will last and this is not one of them so um my go-to hairstyle is definitely a wig which parent are you more like my mom will finally be happy that i met this i do see a lot of my dad and myself i am very much like my dad we are very caring people um and we want to help others we will go the furthest mile to help somebody out but when you cross us one good time or you do something that don't make no doggone sense we are pissed to the t so i do see a lot of myself in my or a lot of my dad and myself so i probably say i'm a lot like my dad but if you ever see my mama I look just like her so yeah um, okay so it says what is your favorite snack my favorite snack is pickles and ranch okay you get a pickle of elastic pickle nice and crunchy okay if you get that joint you get a little ranch and a little hot sauce and a little vinegar and pepper and you just mix it up real quick you dip that pickle in that's my favorite thing so what is your favorite home 
like I said, my like my music range is so wide. I have a lot of favorite songs. Probably my favorite, the song that I can always listen to it will never get old to me is Location by Playboy Cardi. That is my favorite. It just, it's so relaxing to me. So like, I want to do the mug bangs and I already have a problem with like not eating all day and then eating like one time, which is usually at night when I'm studying or something, which is like almost like binge eating. So I'm not trying to do that favorite time of day. My favorite time of day is actually right now. I love like, six o'clock seven o'clock like i like the evening time like closer to eight because it's like the end of my day it's usually when i'm unwinding most of the time it's like the scene y'all friday night and you're like it's your last day at work or like when you were younger it was like your last day of school and like your mom and everybody's come home but you're not like going in the house to like prep for bed you're like it's like the sun is setting and everybody's outside and you're just having a great time and you don't have to stop because like nothing's happening tomorrow like six and seven o'clock and even like seven eight like around the time like six seven eight my favorite time of the day it just reminds me of that when i was younger and you know life was so simple and also because it'd be the end of the day and like i'm home i'm off work and i'm just chilling and you know ain't nothing really popping every type of clothing oh my favorite type of clothing definitely are windbreakers hoodies any kind of jacket that's loose and i could just get lost in with the hood y'all windbreakers like oh my favorite who's your favorite person in the world probably myself it says what is your best physical feature now let me stop it's my smile how tall are you well i think i'm six five but i'm actually five four so kind of on the tall side kind of on the short side but you know one day i'm gonna grow up and i'm gonna be six five are you into dogs or cats i love dogs y'all i went through this weird phase where i wanted a cat i don't know what i was thinking <laughs> what is your dream date y'all i hate when people ask me this kind of stuff because i don't know i'm bad at making certain decisions um i don't really have a dream date I just want whoever I'm going on this date with for us to have a freaking ball. This is my biggest fear. My biggest fear is definitely insects. Um, I don't like any type of insects. Like, like that's more of like an irrational fear. I don't really know why I don't like bugs. I don't see how anybody could like bugs, but I mean, hey, if that's your thing. I don't like insects. Like, no. I'm afraid, like, if I see a bug out the corner of my eye, it could be an ant, I will freak. So, that's probably my biggest fear. I do have a really, really wild fear. If y'all want to hear what my wild fear is, put it in the comment, bruh. And I will make a video about what my wildest fear is. Because only few people know what my biggest, biggest fear is. And it's just so wild, I'm not even about to share it. What is my eye color? My eye color is brown. What is my favorite color? My favorite color is green. Like the money. Somebody asked me, why you so fine? That was my friend, girl, I don't, woo. My worst date night. What was my worst date night? Have I had a worst date night? <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Nobody noticed this. I, me and my ex went laser tagging. This is like a few months ago, bro. And it was my first time wearing a wig after I had like took my hair out of tracks or something. I went and they had, um, they had the laser guns, but, you have to put on the little vest so they can hit your targets. Uh, I took my vest off and snagged the wig with it, bro. That joint went to the side. I was like, oh my God. So I know that really didn't have nothing to do with the person I was on the date with. But that was just an experience, bro. And I, it was in a room full of people. But thank God it was dark. Somebody could have seen it. Honestly, I'm the type I wouldn't care. But still, it was just like, I knew I should have strapped this joint down better. All right, it says, are you going to be making singing video i don't know we'll see what happens i'm actually working on something so um i kind of want to do a couple some things i don't know if they're necessarily singing videos i will be singing in them yeah i'm gonna just say yes okay what is my biggest pet peeve who my biggest pet peeve bro i have a couple but my biggest one that I can think about probably is people driving in this area that I live in in Maryland. If you know where I live, y'all know. People be off the chain, not using a dog on turn signal. How you gonna be two inches from me, slide your car in front of my car, and then dog on, put your turn signal on once you're already in front of me? Like, who does that? That's so dumb. Like, I'm already about to hit you. Relax. Like, ugh, I hate that. What is my favorite cultural activity? Now, this is not what they mean by this, but my favorite thing we do is 
as a black person y'all we got a lot of stuff that i love but i have to say one of my favorite things which is not the most significant but to me my favorite is black twitter black twitter is off the chain it's one of my favorite pastimes and you can't like this whole quarantine these doggone joe exotic like any meme or anything y'all and i know it's not just black people doing it but black twitter any black social media just the things that we put on there bruh that just reflect life bruh it's just absolutely hilarious and i can't get enough it says what inspires you the most i think what inspires me the most is probably my little sister she's amazing my little sister is mature than more mature than me in a lot of ways and a lot of times i think she's my mom but what inspires me is her drive my little sister was born premature um when she was little she she didn't really have a lot of complications my mom didn't either but it was just she just came earlier than she should have and just to see her you know just there and all the different things they said she would go through and just to see her not go any through any of the a lot of the delays and things for her to be intelligent to be on the mark and stuff it really inspires me and it motivates me that it doesn't matter what i'm going through you know i can really get through a lot of things and she has such a drive to do things that a lot of time i'd be like dang sis give me some of that so my little sister she honestly does inspire me a lot what required the most courage from you so far in your life i deal with anxiety really really bad so for me um a lot of times it's asking for help when i don't know what i'm doing or when i am just overwhelmed and stressed and i can't take it just admitting that i need help or that i need a break or something those are the moments i'm still working on them a lot but those are probably the moments that i need like a lot of courage or when it takes a lot out of me to be like Carlina you're stressed so first of all acknowledgement that takes a lot of courage acknowledgement and then going and getting help or you know asking people to help me or saying no that's something that takes a lot of courage out of me too to be like no I can't do this bro it's too much for me what is your favorite thing to do with your friends oh my gosh I have so many things I have such a weird goal I keep saying I got range and I do I really got range because my friends I have different groups of people that I love and that I hang out with but I want to say probably my favorite thing like that I love to do I like to eat with my friends um my brunch bunch my girls my homies we was having fun before quarantine we was going out to brunches we was going to try and restaurants having drinks and mimosas I think our last big thing we did we went and had some seafood then we went to a hookah bar like we just like to go out and try new things together saying about my perfect day earlier like oh okay what we do let's just go out here and have fun like just we just need the vibe and have a good time so that's probably the same way with my friends i just i like to have fun are you gonna do pranks and mukbangs oh my gosh so pranking y'all i do a couple of pranks but i'm the type of person i don't want to do these staged ones that they have on youtube where people are already in on it but then again the one pranks the pranks that i think are bomb i would have to stage them because i'm gonna get somebody a heart attack if i really do them so i don't know about the pranks y'all i'm real funny about that because i'm gonna be honest with you now i don't want to kill nobody because they i don't want to do that to nobody and most of the great pranks i have i have to play on certain people that i ain't trying to so i don't know about the pranks but the mukbangs oh my gosh y'all i'm trying to get my body together so like i want to do the mukbangs and i already have a problem with like not eating all day and then eating like one time which is usually at night when i'm studying or something which is like almost like binge eating i'm not trying to do that but i do want to do a couple mukbangs my mom and my sister want to do a mommy daughter mukbang channel so i thought about just coming in on some of their videos and then featured it on my channel so i don't know we'll see i'm definitely open to doing whatever lena how has quarantine been going for you are you missing doing anything in particular hmm so i miss my paycheck uh, okay i miss a paycheck i have not gotten paid y'all since march 15th so if y'all can understand and then i was claimed the year that they were doing the taxes i was claiming it was just because of my school um so and because i still live at home and stuff so i let my parents claim me so i'm only 22 your girl didn't get no stimuli check okay so i like had to do a couple like unemployment and stuff like that but it's just like dang and then my business that i own they don't want to talk about that soon 
Um, we do a lot of things like child care and like house care and errand running and stuff. But because people have been home with their kids and because it's been such a safety issue, um, I just I haven't been able to really do a lot of that stuff. So my income has been like, whoop, you know, but Jesus has always been making a way and my family has been helping me out a lot. So I'm so grateful to them. And my nails, I mean, y'all, I have beef with the people that be on. Be like a mess, girl. If you don't get a that grandma cookie can and get you an emery board and you go to them feet and put some polish on your feet and just manage until all this is over. Now I will say for me, I wear acrylics and I don't have a drill and all this stuff here because I will go give me one of them kiss kits to try to figure it out. But you know, that's probably the only thing. My eyebrows always been bushing my whole life. I've got them done. I think the last time I got my eyebrows done was like a couple weeks, like Valentine's weekend. The last time I got my eyebrows done and my eyelashes now I will say this that my the most my eyelashes finally growing back y'all because let me tell y'all I got my eyelashes done um I went to see Trippy Red and I told y'all like Trippy Red I went to see him and I just wanted to be cute so I went and tried to get my eyelashes done and um I found a girl that oh, girl, the lady in the nail salon I found her she did my eyelashes for me looked bomb they definitely added something to my look and i was just like okay i'm down done for my birthday and i want to say i got them done one more time no i got them done on my birthday so by the time i had three weeks would have been up with them eyelashes time for me to get a feel we were on lockdown so i ended up just taking them off and um i haven't been back to get them since but i will say this like i'm okay with how i am you know with all that stuff but shoot honey as soon as this thing over i'm taking that 25 dollars plus my tip i'm gonna get my eyelashes now okay so these questions i'm gonna answer kind of in a cluster it said what inspired you to make your channel what will be featured on your channel and why is your channel name what it's named so i kind of touched on this in my last video and and just a few minutes ago my name is carly milan Woo! that's my first and middle name um and so i named it that just because i want this channel to be about me all about me the stuff i'm doing stuff i like my interests and stuff um and like i said in my intro video in my first video i have just always loved that people could just get on here and be who they want to be it don't make no sense to people when they see like trey melvin dressing up i have a lot a lot of people that like don't understand Tyler Perry and like why he dresses up and people have a big fit about it but I'm like if that's how he can express messages like there are so many lessons that I learned from Medea that if Tyler Perry just stood there and said it to me I would have never understood it so I'm just saying that to say like to be able to be comfortable in who you are or whatever character you want to portray and just to be able to do it and like like I think that that's so like exciting it's very incredible to me and i had somebody sit down and say to me like carlina your personality you have a really nice personality and me i think i'm a very boring person or whatever but she was just like i would really like to see like hear your opinion on things and hear you talk about stuff like it's always interesting and exciting to talk to you and i'd be like well thanks girl so she was like if you really like you should start a youtube and i was like she's like is that something you ever consider and i said sis i have been for years i feel like i encourage people just by being real i've always heard people say that to me like carlina i i love your your authenticity about a certain situation like i like that you're real you know raw and you just kind of just do what you want to do and you don't really care that much or you know like you know you just you're unapologetically you and you just do what you want and that was my biggest compliment so i was like you know what if that's what y'all want to speak y'all go i think that's what really inspired my channel and like i always tell people i'm the type like with the wig y'all my wig came off i wouldn't sweat it like I, people around me might be embarrassed but i don't care because my thing is you are who you are and things happen like i'm the type of person i'm not gonna show you just the highlights of my life i'm gonna show you like everything i go through and once i can get in a little more detail about these like new um career endeavors that i'm about to enter and stuff when i can get into it you know to show y'all my rise and my fall and doing stuff like that like to me that's exciting like i didn't start college right away when i got out of high school my anxiety was so bad i couldn't go to school like it was a lot for me to want to be in a classroom or to be in a space with other people like a lot was going on in my life so once i had a moment to kind of get myself together and like you know collect my thoughts and stuff i was able to do it and i did it in my own time and i don't think that there's anything wrong with that and i feel like i am just as successful if not more you know 
and I did everything in my own time frame. I did things when I was comfortable, when it was right for me. So if I could encourage somebody like that and help them understand, like, you, you can do things your way, like, you know, do things right. But, you know, you can do things your way. You don't have to do it how everybody else does it. So I think that's my biggest thing when it comes to my channel and just wanting to be myself and, you know, showing people there are other ways to do things. You don't have to be perfect question is going to be what do you hope to see happen with your channel y'all don't really have a, a goal in mind or like a moment where I like say like I don't even have it like I want to have a million subscribers or I want to do that da, da, da. I don't really have that kind of goal in mind I just kind of want to put the content out there and just want to have fun trying new stuff and you know having experiences and stuff it would be nice to make money it would be nice to do all the wonderful things you see people do but i just want to really encourage somebody and really want to you know just be able to do what i do it would be you know encouraging to somebody and like i said i really just want my channel to be helpful to somebody and show them you know there is another way except the way people try to make you think there is like you can really like you could do a lot i just put lotion on y'all that's why i'm not really you could really do a whole lot and you can you you could just do it like you can do it that's that's the thing just do it like bros too if y'all don't hear like bruh just do it like don't worry about nobody else don't be worried about nobody else don't don't look at somebody else's journey and even with me like don't look at me because some things might come easier for you some things might come harder for you but i know i'm a very transparent person and i ain't scared to say that this ain't work or i ain't you know whatever you know it's an it's a lot so I, you know that's what i really just hope with my channel is that it will encourage somebody and you know just have fun making memories with my friends and making memories with my family and just trying new things and yeah so i guess that's really what i look forward to with my channel okay y'all so it probably look a little darker and he had to come back and do this real quick i needed a little water break um hey thank y'all so much for all the support that i've gotten on my videos i've gotten um on my channel so far my subscribers and just everything all the encouraging messages the dms i've been getting like i really really appreciate it it really really makes my day and i hope it continues to grow so with that being said make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you turn on notifications so you see when i post a video make sure you like this video and make sure you leave me a comment i feel like i asked y'all to comment something earlier i can't quite remember that was like 40 minutes ago so make sure that y'all put in the comment what i asked y'all to put in the comments and something else some nice let me know what other kind of videos y'all want to see me do i know i'm about to do a reaction i was gonna react to y'all president today but i'm exhausted and he's exhausted and he's gonna make me mad you know and i'm trying to keep my videos wholesome but yeah y'all make sure y'all leave me what y'all want to see me do in the other videos check out my sponsor um they're really cool people but yeah y'all i will see y'all in the next video peace like two whole weeks I gotta find a dog on phone. Where's the phone at? Hey y'all. So I'm going to distract you. In my video. I needed a water break. Mm. Hey y'all. So I'm gonna be. Y'all see these glasses transition?